Hello guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. It's Tilio Galinda over here. In case you haven't subscribed, kindly click on the red subscribe button over there and get yourself subscribed. And after that, you can also click at the notification bell icon. That way, anytime I upload a new video, you'll be the first one to know. Now, peeps, I'm not happy today. I'm so sad. I don't know. I don't know what to say. Like, seriously, I just want to talk about our salon. See my hair. See, see my hair. Hmm? What happened to my hair? Just look at. You see, my hair looks like an albino's hair. Like, I look like somebody who has stunted growth. Someone who is not eating well. I'm very sad. Honestly. I went to, to, to get my hair done somewhere in this salon. I even thought that they know what they're doing. I showed them a picture of what I wanted. I wanted to color my hair uh, golden brown. And this is what they ended up doing for me. Like seriously, guys, I'm so sad. And I spent a lot of money on it. Imagine how it, it feels when you want to go and have a new look and uh, you spend money on it without giving a damn about it because you believe they know what they're doing and they're going to do the right thing for you and to your surprise after sitting down there for god knows how many hours it turns out like this i'm so disappointed and you know this color they normally they normally itchy they kind of burn your hair like chemical or something like that they behave like a hair relaxer if you know the feeling you feel like it's burning you kind of you know so there's no way they can do your hair like this and then it becomes not what you expected and you like redo it again like you repaint it again it's not possible you see i'm so disappointed guys i'm very very disappointed these lines are for the cap i wore when i was sleeping but the color i don't know I've never done this color on my hair before. I don't even know the name of the color. I don't know whether it's... What was she telling me? Blunt brown or blunt brown. I did not ask her for that. I told her I want golden brown. What is this? Yuck. Guys, I feel so bad. I feel so bad like I don't even feel like going, to, go, going outside the house. In fact, I'm just indoors today. I don't even know what to do. How am I going to go to work? Am I going to remove this one and put on a wig? I don't know. You know, as much as wigs are good, sometimes you feel like having your natural hair on, you feel like doing something different, maybe color your hair and get grab a different look. You know what I mean? You just want to feel your scalp breathe. So now, here I am, I go to pay this salon is to do my hair and this is what I get out of it and I don't know what to do I am so embarrassed like honestly I am so sad I don't know what to do guys I feel like crying I, I'm just trying to be tough I'm trying to be tough not to cry but I feel like crying honestly I mean who does that I, 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 and imagine she was even exchanging words with me. Why put a, put up a salon if you know you don't know what to do? And who said everybody knows everything? I mean, if a client comes to your salon and tells you do this to my hair, and you know you don't know how to do it, why don't you just tell the person I don't know how to do this style? Can you choose something different? Maybe they can do it for you. Just be nice. I mean, yes, everybody goes to the salon with an idea of what they want to look like. But if you tell me that you don't know how to do it, can I kindly choose another different style that you can do for me that you know how to do best? Of course I'm going to change my mind because everybody wants to come out of the salon looking good. I mean, who wants to come out of the salon looking like a monkey, like me? Jeez, I hate my look right now. I really hate my look right now. Like, I hate it. I'm serious, okay? I'm serious guys. It's me please. It's not a genie. If you see me along the streets, don't run away. Please just say hi, alright? I feel so bad right now. My tears are just here. They're just here. I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do because I'm suffering. How can I just use my hard-earned money to pay that lady? 
and then she ends up putting something different for me. It's different, totally different, and I feel very bad about it. <laughs> anyway, guys, you know what? I don't care. I don't give a damn about the hair now. See, if from here, from here going down, it's different. At least consider from here going like this. It's still me, right? anyway guys so i just want to tell the salonists please if you know you don't know how to do something tell your customer tell your client that you don't know how to do it nobody's gonna kill you for it nobody's gonna crucify you for it all right don't make me tell you Waka! nobody's gonna crucify you for not knowing how to do something so imagine this lady was changing what's with me telling me uh but this but that but that. and i tell her what if I wanted to do my hair myself, I wouldn't have come here. I came here for you to color my hair because I believe you know what you're doing. I believe you're a professional. And that's why I'm sitting down here, putting my ass on this chair of yours, all those hours waiting for you to fix my hair. So what is this? Guess what, guys? I'm a very short-tempered person. I'm a very short-tempered nigger. You know what saved that lady? She was pregnant. She is pregnant right now, like very, very pregnant. And that's what saved her because I felt even if she did rubbish on my head, she did it standing all those hours with that big stomach of hers. So I just say, let me just pity her. But I felt really, really bad, guys. I felt really bad. Let me tell you guys, you don't know what us ladies go through. I mean, you don't know what it feels like to go to the salon to get your hair done and the salon is end up doing something totally different from what you are anticipating. You don't know what it feels like. You, you don't know half of it. You don't understand. Really. You come out of there feeling, I don't know. Assuming it was wig. Assuming it was a weave that I, I used on my head. Then I would have just removed it today. But I don't do weaves no more. Like I told you, I don't do weaves no more, man. I don't do weaves no more. Hmm? But I feel really bad, guys. I feel bad. I mean, I look like I got stunted growth, yo. Me? Looking like I'm not eating good diet? Jesus. What is this? Anyway, Shaw, let me just forgive the man. They say forgive them so that the Lord will forgive you too, right? Let me just forgive her, but man, I feel real bad. I feel painful. I feel, I feel choked. I feel like I'm suffocating. I feel, I feel, I feel, I feel, I feel a mixture of feelings, yo. I don't know what I feel anymore. I feel bad. I've never done this color on my head before. What is this? I look so funny. I mean, I don't even want my neighbors to see me like this. I step out of the house with a scarf on my head, man. And I pretend that I'm really smiling. Good morning, neighbor. But when I enter the house and I look at myself in the mirror and say, What the heck? What is this? Salonist, man. You disappoint. You disappoint us. If you don't know what to do, please just say, I don't know this. Please, I am begging you in the name of whoever you believe in. Please, it doesn't cost you nothing to say, confess that you don't know this one. I am so disappointed, guys. I just decided to come and talk to you guys. Maybe I'm going to feel better. I don't know. My mama is not here for me to cry to. I want to say, let me come and cry on you guys. Maybe you guys are gonna, gonna pity me. Maybe you're gonna feel my pain. Those ladies, them ladies who have gone to the salon and came back home disappointed. You understand where I'm coming from, right? I feel funny. I feel strange. I feel uncouth. I feel outdated. I feel so old fashioned and barbaric. I don't know. Gosh. What is this? Anyway, guys, that's just it for the day, man. Let me just die on my pity, man. I don't know. Let me just die in self-pity. I don't know. 
I feel so bad, man. If you have any idea, if you're a salonist and you have any idea of what I can do, can you just leave leave your comment or advice at the comment section down below? Let me just read it over and see what to do about this. Because I don't think you can color your hair today and go and recolor it tomorrow. I don't think it's it's allowed. <coughs> I don't want to end up losing all my hair. Kindly guys, you'll ignore the noise. I believe I'm loud enough. My neighbor is doing something. He's fixing something with some machine. I don't know whatever whatever it is. And uh, he's uh, doing some repairs, so it's kind of noisy. But it doesn't mean anything. We can still do our video, right? <laughs> so please, guys. I'm begging you. Don't do this to us, Salonis. Don't do this to us, all right? Yeah, so anyway guys who have been with me to the end, going through this traumatizing moment of my life, thank you so much for being with me, but in case you haven't subscribed, kindly, kindly, kindly subscribe, alright, subscribe, uh, view the video, like the video, share the video, please keep sharing it, alright, share it, tell everyone to subscribe to my channel, I'm begging all of you, alright, yes, let's be there for one another let's be there for one another and i promise not to disappoint i'm gonna bring you many many videos many like this one others better than this one and with different different content that i believe are going to boost your morale i believe are going to teach you something i believe are gonna see you uh, through something as well all right so thank you very much until our next video